Good afternoon. Hello, people. Hello. Good afternoon, teacher. How are you? <laughs> Thank you. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, Fabiana. Almost time to start the class. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, Anita. <laughs> okay. Welcome to your English class. Let me show you. Let me show you the class presentation for today. So um, today is Wednesday, January 26th, right? 2022. And today's topic is simple press. Oh no, that was the previous class. Uh -huh. So <laughs> it's jobs and occupations. Jobs and occupations and WH questions. So that's the topic for today's class, jobs and occupations and WH questions. Biden says, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Biden. Welcome to the class. <laughs> okay, what are the objectives? We have two objectives. The first one is that by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you will also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. And lesson uh, objective two. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when asking simple present WH questions. Good. So let's begin with the agenda. We have four activities. Activity one, recalling previous class. Activity two, jobs and occupations. Activity three, WH questions. And activity four, wrap up. For the first activity, recalling previous knowledge or previous class, we I have some questions. The first question is, what jobs do you like? What jobs do you work hard? All jobs. <laughs> what jobs do you handle money? What jobs do you use a computer? What jobs do you use a lot of physical effort? What jobs do you sit all day? And what jobs do you stand up all day? Okay, so in groups, you are going to ask and answer these questions. What jobs do you like? Mm, I like doctor, I like teacher, and you can say all the jobs that you like, actor, singer, etc. What jobs do you work hard? You can say, well, a teacher works hard. A nurse works hard in the hospital, especially now with COVID. Um, um, let's see also a uh, cook works hard because the person who cooks, right, has to do a lot of things. So you will talk about jobs, okay? Jobs in which you handle money, for example, a cashier, Etc. It could be physical money or it could be the numbers like an accountant, right? The counts are very important too and serious job. So I'm going to assign you in some groups and you are going to ask and answer the questions with your partner. I'm sorry, I took a nap before the class. <laughs> 
Let me see. I'm going to. Okay. Go ahead, please. I will send you the 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 questions. Or playing attending. What about you? De acuerdo. Eh, what jobs do you work hard? I think that is a chef. Also a doctor. Chef. Ahí dice como que, que trabajos serían como más difíciles o uh -huh. fuertes. Sí. Pesados. Ah, pesado. Ah. Sí, así fue. La siguiente sería, what job, ¿sí? What job do you handle money? Ah, doctor. Teacher, una pregunta. Aquí en el que dice what, what job do you handle money? Sería quizás como en el que se gana más dinero. ¿O cómo, o cómo no, sería? en el que maneja dinero. Ah, ya. Uh -huh. For example, like a cashier, a salesperson, an accountant. Ah, ya. Gracias. El, el teacher, el que dice el, a lot of physical uh, effort. 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 Yes, you need a lot of energy to do this job. For example, a, a person who works in the construction, uh, like a mason, albañil, mason, uh -huh, works hard, right, with a physical effort. Okay. Mucho esfuerzo físico. Or also a, a coach, the coach, the soccer, in the, a soccer coach, or a personal training coach. Mm -hmm. 
or soccer players? Uh, and yes. stand up all day? Uh -huh. People who stand up all day. It's the opposite of sit down. You sit down all day in the computer, but stand up is a person who don't sit. A person who doesn't sit all day. For example, uh, a waiter or a waitress. Un, un camarera, una mesera, right? These people don't sit, they stand up. They stand up all day, okay? Que no se sientan, están parados todo el día. Los porteros también, pero no sé cómo es el portero. El portero de una escuela o de un banco. Ok, security a security guard. A security. security guard, yes. Para decir botones, el botón que trabaja en el hotel sería solo eh, Bellman o sería Hotel Bellman. Yeah, whatever. Which of both are okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It can be both. Vaya, si quiere, compañera, ahora le pregunto yo y contesta usted. Dele. <laughs> What job do you like? Is a teacher. Is a, a doctor. What jobs do you work hard? Is a... A security. Security. <laughs> Police office, I think. The construction, no sé cómo se dice. Construction worker, builder, or mason? Mason is albañil, a construction worker, or builder. Mm -hmm. Builder, what is that builder? It's a construction worker. Uh, it's the mm -hmm. same. Same. Mm -hmm. Motor, uh, uh, how do you say driver, right? Yes, right? driver. Driver. Yes. Very You look very happy, Evelyn. <laughs> That's good. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we were discussing the questions, the questions about jobs and occupations. I would like to know which occupations uh, did you mention, right? You mentioned. For example, what jobs do you like? What can you tell me? I like music. Oh, musician, musician, okay, or artist. Okay, musician, nice. I think Juan is a musician. <laughs> Okay, other jobs. I heard somebody saying teacher. I like the, the, the job as teacher. 
Somebody said that. I think it was Emily. But someone said, someone said. Alguien dijo. <laughs> I like chef or baker. Yeah, it's, it's a hard job, but I, it's interesting. Okay, what jobs do you work hard? You work hard. Mm -hmm. I think that is a cook or a chef. Okay, cook, chef. Um, waiters. Uh, waiter, security waiter. guard. Security okay, guard. security guard. A constructor. <clears throat> okay, a, a construction worker. Absolutely. Okay, what jobs do you handle money? Cashier. A cashier. An accountant. Uh, salesperson. A salesperson, a businessman. Okay, great. What jobs do you use a computer? A web designer. Oh, yes, a web designer. Receptionist. Yes, of course. Receptionist. Secretary. A secretary. Teachers. A, teachers. Of, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Especially if they teach online classes, right? <laughs> okay. What jobs do you use a lot of physical effort? You need to be very strong, like Popeye. Construction you... workers. Okay, construction workers. What about basketball coach? Mechanic. Carpenters. Mason. Mason, Albañil. Yes, what about the cleaning person? A cleaning person. A person who does the cleaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh, what do you say? Uh, how do you say? Like a like structure a, metallic. Like a so, uh, oh yes, it's a, um, ay, un soldador. It's, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's um, a welder, a welder. Welder, okay. Uh, and military. Also a carpenter. I'm sorry, can you repeat please? Military. Oh, a soldier, a military, an army, a person who works in the army. Also guys, the, the woman who makes tortillas. The woman who make a tortillas, a tortillas maker, or the pupusas maker. They, Teacher, work, they use a lot of physical. Um, a panificador, como sería? A baker, un, un panadero, baker. Mm -hmm. They also uh -huh. um, uh, use a lot of physical effort. Okay, what about the next question? What jobs do you sit all day? As Bob Kate. Um, can you repeat, please? Is as Bob Kate, abogado. Oh, okay, a lawyer. Lawyer. Secretary. Reception. Okay. Receptionist, secretary, lawyer. Call center agent. Call center. Mm -hmm. A call center agent. What about the politicians, los diputados, or los políticos? Politicians, right? <laughs> Drivers also. Gordo. 
Okay, and the next, what jobs do you stand up all day? This is the opposite. You have to stand up. Security guard. Okay, security guard. Cashier. Okay, a cashier, like in the supermarket, right? Chef. A chef. Waiter and waitress. Police officer. Excellent. Okay. So nice. It was nice because you mentioned a lot of different jobs. Okay. So now I have this table with different workplaces. I have the hospital, the bank, the office, restaurant, a school, supermarket, and this one is on the street or outside. So what are you gonna do? You are going to copy this table in your notebook and, you, and we are going to complete this together, okay? Lo vamos a completar juntos. For example, tell me the people who works in uh, people who work in the hospital. Nurse. Doctor. Okay, dog. Nurse. Nurse. Police. And the hospital. Well, the security person or security person. Secretary. Okay. Dentist. Dentist. Odontologist. Okay, which is the same as dentist. What about um, the surgeon, el cirujano, surgeon? Right? El que da la medicina en hospitales, ¿cómo sería? Okay, como la persona en la farmacia, ¿verdad? Correcto, sí. Ok, vamos a buscarlo. The pharmacist. The pharmacist. Pharmacist. The pediatrician. Right. ¿Qué se hace el oficio? El, el tenant's el person. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, esto, perfecto. Maintenance person, a persona de mantenimiento, or cleaning person. Good. What about in the bank? The people who work cashier. in the bank. Cashier. Okay, cashier. cashier. Also, we have a loan. Um, Gerente. Okay, that's the manager. Let me make a key Security one for person. Yes, and very important. Security guard. Um, and in the bank also work these people, the loan officer. Mm -hmm. Is the person who lends you money, lo que le presta dinero, loan officer. Also, customer. <laughs> okay, customer person. Agent, and agente de servicio al cliente. We have also a debt collector, la persona Ordenanza, que cobra. Or, or, ordenanza, ¿cómo se dice? The maintenance person. Ah, es lo mismo. Man. Yes. Maintenance person.
Good. The, what about people who work in an office? All the people who need an office. The lawyer. The lawyer, exactly. Secretary. Okay. Also accountant or auditor, web designer. Uh, somebody said, um, let's see, architect. Yes, over here, architect. Mm -hmm. Engineer. Excellent. Now, people who work in a restaurant. White Chef, chef, the cook, the waiter, or the waitress. Remember, waiter is for men and waitress is for woman. I think the book there. Okay, bar, the bartender. A barist, um, let's see what else. I think it's the same barista, barista. Wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Barista. Also a cashier, right? A manager. Okay, people who work in a school. Teacher. Teacher. Principal. Exactly. El director se dice principal. Principal. We also have some janitors. So, the janitor is the person who does the maintenance or the cleaning. And it's also like the person who is at the front door. There's also Say. a secretary, right? My third person. Can you repeat, please? My ten person. Okay. This person, yes. Also, we can have some teacher assistants, right? Assistants, teacher assistants. Um, what about, oh, I forgot this. Oh, um, the PE teacher, physical education teacher. or trainer. Hey, people who work in the supermarket. I seen some sales people, sales person in the supermarket. Take a cashier. 
also in the supermarket, there are some cooks, right? Empaquetador, como okay. display, okay. El empaquetador, ¿cómo se dice? The packer. Or bagger. We also have a butcher, el carnicero, right? Or carnicera. We have an accountant, maybe. We have a supervisor or manager. Uh, somebody said display. We have some drivers, the drivers who uh, drives the all the products, right? Now, what are some jobs that people do on the street or outside home, outside, not in a building, but on the street or outside? For example, we can have some bus drivers, uh, sales people, people who send, who sells on the bus, on the street. Maybe mechanic. Police. Artist. Okay, police man. Soldier. Okay, very good. Fobia. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, let's say construction worker because they construct roads. Okay, thank you so much guys. Thank you for your participation in the activity. Now, guys, I will I will send you again to break rooms, and I will ask you what does each member of your family do? What does each member of your family do? ¿Qué hace cada miembro de su familia? Well, I will tell you about my family. My mom is a babysitter and cook. Okay, so she takes care of my niece. She takes care of my niece, Sofia, my sobrina. And also she is a cook because she makes tamales, she makes tortillas, and she makes sopa de pata to sell, right? Or hand soup on Sundays. My father is a truck driver. So he drives big trucks and he travels from Guatemala to Panama. My brother is a bank executive. He works in the bank. My sister-in-law is a bank loan officer. Así que ella trabaja en el área de préstamos. My sister-in-law is a bank loan officer. My sister is a call center agent. My husband is an IT assistant. IT is information technology information technology assistant. So he gives technical support at his job, right? He repairs computers, machines, systems, software and hardware, software and hardware, right? Good, so are you ready? This is the question you are gonna ask. First, you need to write in your notebook. Quizás primero les voy a dar tiempo para que escriban to write down in your notebook 
about your family members. What does each member of your family do? What does each member of your family do? And later on in the groups, you are going to share with your partners. Oh, my mom is this, my dad is this, my husband is this, my son is this, my sister, my brother, etc., etc. Or you can say my best friend or my boyfriend, if you have boyfriend or girlfriend. You can also say a student if they are students. Okay, so now I will send you to breakout rooms and oops, you will discuss with your classmates, okay? Go ahead. Okay, go to the groups and talk about your family. ¿Quién va a empezar? Empieza usted, compañero Juan. Ok. Ok. Uh, 
las respuestas de la pregunta. Ajá. My wife is an engineer industrial. My son is singer and student. My grandma is baker. My uncle is musician. Only. Wow, that's nice. What about you, Juan? What do you do? Uh, I am a musician. <laughs> a musician. You're a musician. Okay. And engineer, engineer agronom. agronomist. Agronomist. Agronomy, uh, an agronomer engineer. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. But you prefer the music? Sí. I like. <laughs> nice. Miren, voy a mandar a alguien de ustedes a la sala 2 porque Evelyn está sola. Okay. Okay, teacher. Are you finished? Yes, I am. Okay, you can start, Anna. Hmm. What does each member of your family do? Byron? My brother is a student. My father is a truck driver. And my grandfather is an agriculture. Excellent. Farmer. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Carlita. Haha, <laughs> ya sabía. <laughs> well, uh, my mom is a little chef because my mother has a little restaurant. And my old brother is a, I don't know, how do you say, remodelación? Baby sister. Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. este, um, creo que empiece usted. Le voy a preguntar yo. Sí, de... Otra vez, repitamos. Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. what, what does each member of your family do? Uh, my mom is a chef in my house. My father is a taxi drive. driver. My, taxi driver. Taxi driver. And driver. Okay. My husband is a welder. My daughter is a student. My sister is a baby. baby. My sister is a baby sister. Baby sitter. Baby sitter. Uh -huh. Baby sitter. Okay. Sitter. Thank you. Baby yes. What does age member of your family do? Your... My mom is a babysitter. My father is a carpenter. My sister works in an office. Terminamos, 
Anita, why are you so happy? The, yo me quedé hablando sola. <laughs> oh, okay, you can you can continue. What does each member of your family do? Um, my mom she's a housewife. Housewife. Uh -huh. And she cooks and she makes the laundry all the days. <laughs> and she takes care of us. Of you, of your of the family. Uh -huh. <laughs> of the family. Uh, my sister, she's a service person in Simam. Okay, she works at Simam. And my husband, he is a doctor. Oh, interesting. Okay, what kind of doctor? General doctor general. or just general, general doctor. doctor? Okay, and what do you do? Sorry? And what do you do? You? Me. I only study. Oh, okay, you're a student. <laughs> and, and sometimes I help to his in, in the... How do you say consultor? In the clinic. In the clinic. Okay. So you help your husband? Yes. In the clinic. Okay. Interesting. Very good. So thank you for sharing. I was listening to different students telling about the family. Okay. So let's continue now in the next part of the presentation. Now you have to be more specific and describe what the, the activities that each person does. For example, I have some questions here. What does a teacher do? Well, a teacher prepares classes, grades exams, teaches in class, makes reports, Etc. So those are some of the responsibilities, duties, duties, or activities, right? Duties, activities, or responsibilities that a teacher has. So now you are going to write about five jobs, five jobs. You choose the jobs. You choose the jobs. And you're gonna ask, what does a cashier do? What does a secretary do? What does a cook do? What does a waiter or waitress do? What does a doctor do? What does a nurse do? Okay, so um, please in your notebook or in the chat, you can write about five jobs, okay? Only five. You can choose doctor, you can choose teacher, you can choose a uh, engineer, musician, whatever, okay? It's your decision, about five. And you will have like around five minutes because it's already 1.49. So let's write about the different activities, duties or responsibilities that uh, these people have in their jobs, okay? Cinco responsabilidades de, de uno escogemos. No, no, no. Va a escoger cinco jobs. Five jobs. Five jobs. Ah. Five different jobs. Y ahí va, puede escribir dos o tres responsibilities or activities that this person does. Y van a usar the third person singular. For example, a cashier counts the money, receives the payments, a secretary writes or types letters, uh, answers the phone, uh, answers emails, gives information, a doctor uh, sees the patient, uh, prescript medicine, uh, I don't know, listens to the patients. So what are, what are, what are the activities or duties they have?
Eh, expedientes, como se dice. Files. Files. F-I-L-E-S.
Okay, so, well, if you didn't finish, you can finish as homework. Okay, it says Carlita, doctor, receive the patient, check the file of the patients. <laughs> okay, receives, receives, sería así. Check the files of the patient and gives prescript prescriptions. Gives prescriptions, that recetas. What does a nurse do? A nurse prepares files and gives injections or shots. And vaccines. <laughs> okay. Um, now, guys, for, well, tomorrow we're going to continue with this topic because we didn't finish today. But we are going to continue practicing with WH question. WH question word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus the complement. Okay. Yeah, that activity we didn't complete, but we are going to do it tomorrow. Okay. So, what did you learn today? Okay, so what did you learn today in this class? What was the vocabulary that we practiced? Yo, vocabulary and activities. Sorry, yes. <laughs> the vocabulary was about jobs and occupations. And also we learned where the workplaces, where people work, a donde trabajan las personas, right? Where people work and what they do, what they do in their jobs, que es lo que hacen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you finish, okay? You finish as homework and please continue working on the platform. Um, ¿Saben qué? Estaba revisando uno que me mandaron que había, no, no le encontraban la, la respuesta, no le daba la respuesta correcta, pero no encuentro el ejercicio. Así que si me ayudan cuando me manden de un ejercicio, este, díganme de qué parte es, porque ahí estoy buscando y no lo encuentro. Así es que ahí se me hacen el favor. ¿Verdad? Sí, Dicho dice que a mí me ocurrió que en el 1.10 todas me salían malas. Entonces, al final era porque no le tenía que poner el signo de interrogación. Muy bien. Ajá. Se lo comento por si a alguien le pasa lo mismo. Sí, a veces pasa, pasa, miren, que es porque en vez del apóstrofe le ponen la tilde, a veces es porque no le ponen la mayúscula al inicio o, o le ponen mayúscula donde no va. Eh, a veces porque le ponen el punto final, porque se lo ponen o no se lo ponen. <risa> y hubo un ejercicio en el que la respuesta estaba correcta, pero el orden no. Entonces, este, el orden, por ejemplo, en uno decía que había que seleccionar, creo que era uno de lectura, qué cosas habían en, en la casa. Entonces, en uno decía three chairs y en el otro no me acuerdo. Pero la cosa es que yo hice el ejercicio para ver, vea, y, y era que las three chairs iban primero y luego iba el otro, entonces hay que fijarse en esos detalles, a veces la respuesta está bien, pero, pero bueno, como ya están grabadas las respuestas ahí, entonces si usted no le da exactamente como es, este le va a salir mala, ¿verdad? Ok, esta semana, bueno, mañana tenemos la última clase de la semana y... Eh, esta semana tienen que eh, ya haber llegado al midterm, ¿verdad? Al midterm. So, tienen hasta el mon eh, Sunday, hasta el domingo, para llegar al midterm. Okay. So, it was a pleasure to see you today. And remember, tomorrow 
It's not Thursday. It's Friday for you. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye and see you tomorrow. Goodbye, Goodbye teacher. Tomorrow. Goodbye, teacher. Bye-bye.